We've got new music from Taylor Swift, Morgan Wallen releases a five-minute apology video, and Post Malone is gearing up for a concert. These are your top Billboard stories for Thursday, February 11th. Good morning, America. It's Taylor. First up, yep, you heard me right. Taylor Swift appeared on Good Morning America today, February 11th, to confirm what her Swifties have been speculating. Here's Jordan Rowling with the story. The singer revealed she's dropping a re-recorded version of her 2008 hit song Love Story at midnight. But that's not all. Taylor also announced the entire Fearless album is finally finished and will feature 26 tracks, including six never-before-released songs from The Vault. Now I've gone back and recorded those so that everyone will be able to hear not only the songs that made the album, but the songs that almost made it. Next up, one week after video emerged of Morgan Wallen using the N-word, the disgraced country artist has released a five-minute video apologizing. Here's Jordan Rowling with the details. The video you saw was, was me on our 72 of 72 of a bender, and that's not something I'm proud of either. He then shared that he nervously accepted invitations from some black organizations and leaders to engage in real and honest conversations. I heard firsthand some personal stories from black people that honestly shook me. And I know what I'm going through this week doesn't even compare to some of the trials I heard about from them. I came away from those discussions with a deep appreciation for them and a clearer understanding of the weight of my words. Wallen stressed this is just the beginning of his learning process before telling his loyal supporters there's no reason to downplay what I did. The consequences for Wallen's actions were swift, with Big Loud suspending his recording contract, WME dropping him, and radio station groups like iHeartMedia pulling his song. And finally for today, Pokemon and Post Malone are teaming up to celebrate Pokemon Day on Saturday, February 27th with a virtual concert. I never would have guessed we would be here today. After 25 years, it's you, the fans, that make all this possible. Pose, who for the record still has a Game Boy Color specifically so he can play Pokemon, tells Billboard exclusively that it's sentimental for him and the franchise to be 25 at the same time, saying, I've been a fan for such a long time, kind of grew up with it. Celebrating 25 years is a big deal, so we decided to do it together. The rapper turned 25 himself last July. But now we're here. And it feels so good. All right, that is all for today. But for more on these stories, you can head to Billboard.com. And until next time, for Billboard News, I'm Chelsea Briggs.